Anna Lehmann Bronze is a film photographer from Germany whose work focuses on empty spaces devoid of life but still give off an emotional appeal. She tends to photograph old movie sets or abandoned interiors, though she sometimes creates her own miniature dollhouse interiors to photograph. A lot of her images have an emphasis on light and how it shines through an interior. People have described her work as being the director or stage crew from a movie set. Instead of actually viewing it as an audience, people are viewing it behind the scenes. The places she photographs have been called a room in a room, almost showing an entirely different scenery on the outside. She also prefers to photograph out-of-date interiors, which is why I was drawn to her work in the first place. It's difficult to find places still decorated, such as the ones she does, so her ability to discover them and document them in such a beautiful but ominous way drew me into this book. She likes to mess with the divide between illusion and reality in her spaces, and it is shown effectively. For the most part in this book, the image quality is good, with the exception of a few pixelated images. I think the way it is formatted, and how different interviews divide her different series, proves for an effective viewing and successful publication. This gives a good organization to her photo sequences, and displays the images in sets. Some pages contain one image in the center, whereas the others fill up an entire page, creating a good variation in page layout. This book's pretty large, and it's hardcover, which is what I would look for in a photo book personally. I think the minimal text, besides the interview sections, work well. And they leave the viewer to focus more on the photos themselves than what they actually mean. This is one of her dollhouse interior sets that she's created. You can see the divide between reality and illusion in the video, or in the photo in the back. This is one of the pixelated images I was talking about, but I think that's due to the large formatting. Coming up are her film sets she's photographed. A lot of the text is in German, so it is difficult for me to read, but the interview parts are in English.